Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got some fun videos for y'all. This is going to be part one of fall makeup picks. I love fall makeup. It's really like the time of year that I seem to get most excited about makeup, but also like all the things. The weather, the events, the food, the drinks, just all the books, all the fun things. So I get so excited about fall and I love doing fall makeup picks every year. I just kind of go through my collection. Um, I got some new stuff this year. And so this is kind of like a, a collection of different things. It's some newer stuff, some newer stuff to me, and then some kind of revisited favorites. And yeah, I just went through my collection and kind of picked out some goodies that I am excited about for fall. So part one is going to be eyes and cheeks. So eyeshadows, palettes, and then blushes. And then part two will be lip favorites or lip picks. So part one today. So if you're new here, my name is Leslie. Welcome. I love to do favorites videos, new at the drugstore, get ready with me's reviews, empties, just a lot of fun stuff here on my channel. So if you're new, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button and stuck around for a while. I'd love to have you here on my channel. So yeah, we are chatting about fall makeup picks eyes and cheeks so let's get to it i really don't even know where to start so i'm just going to start grabbing things so this is the laura geller laura's essentials soft satins palette i got this in my ipsy my boxy charm by ipsy box so they sent this to me and i love it it's beautiful the colors in here are gorgeous, so pigmented, great formula. This is a great palette for any time of year, but I am so excited about it for fall because it's beautiful by itself, but it pairs perfectly with like coppery shades and just all the colors. I will say my favorite kind of makeup look for fall is I love the coppery shades. I love the warmer shades. So that's kind of like the main theme of this. But sometimes I kind of, like I love a berry lip, so there's definitely that in there too. But shadows, I definitely love a coppery eye look. And then occasionally throw in like a green look or maroon or burgundy or something like that. But there's a lot of warm tones, coppery shades, and whatnot in these picks. Okay, Nomad, Hudson Valley. Look how gorgeous this palette is. They sent this to me last year, so sweet of them. This palette is amazing. So yeah, if you want different options for fall makeup looks, this has it. I mean, you can go with the warm colors, but you can do a green look. You can do kind of like a cementy look. These in the middle are gorgeous duo chromes. I mean, these are not playing around with pigmentation. They are so pigmented, so nice, great formula. Love this palette so much. Then the Too Faced Maple Syrup Pancakes palette, they sent this to me too. So sweet of them and this palette is so fun. If you want more kind of like jewel tones for fall, this has it. I love this green and I love this one right here. So pretty. I will say I'm kind of drawn to that color this year. Clothes, I'm totally drawn to this kind of like mustard um, yellow or like a, like a caramel. I don't know, something yellowy or like a warm brown. I'm just gravitating towards those so much. Tart Tartlet, Tart Tartlet Toasted Palette. I love this palette. This is a classic for any time of year, but if you love those coppery shades, those warm shades, this is incredible. I love the formula of this palette. I love Tart Shadows, just they're so pigmented and they're that kind of like buttery, pigmented formula but they're blendable you just don't need a lot of product with them so you don't have to really dig your brush in there if you do that you're going to have way too much shadow it's going to be everywhere so you don't need to do that um and then minted their everyday eyeshadow palette their every nights i think it's called palette is gorgeous too but this one oh my goodness i love this it is so pigmented so, so, so pigmented. Look at that. Look at that one right there. And I love these colors. I feel like there's some really unique ones in here, like that one. So good. These over here have a little bit of a, like a satiny, slightly metallic sheen to them, but I love the mattes in here and I love pairing them with um, other kind of shimmery shades like I have on my lid. The formula is so good. I mean, it is, you saw, crazy pigmented, but then so blendable, they wear really well, so good. And then Ofra, 
I love this. Minted sent that to me and Ofer sent that to me. I'll just, I always put with a little asterisk down below and try to write gifted just so y'all know, but I like to, you know, say it too. This is the Falling in Love palette. Okay, this has all the options in it. I have this on my eyes today and then one other palette and then a like sparkly loose shade. So I have this in my crease and kind of outer corner. I have a little bit of this kind of on the inner corner of my eyes, like still on my lid. But oh my goodness, if you want a more kind of golden yellow look, it's there. More warm orangey look, it's there. Burgundy, green, love this shade. Again, kind of drawn to these colors, but there's just something about a really yellowy eye look, like that golden, ooh, it's so pretty. I just feel like it makes your eyes pop. This is so beautiful. This one in the middle, gorgeous. It is a loosely packed shimmery shade, so I would probably use that one with a setting spray. Um, it kind of like helps with the fallout, but it's so sparkly and so gorgeous and light catching. Ooh, I love it. So many great palettes. There's more. I just got this one this year. This is the Palladio Ultimate Nine Count Eyeshadow Palette in Natural Earth. I like this one because it's it's very earthy. Like I think that's a good name for it. And it's it's kind of unique. So there's some, you know, more kind of green foresty sort of colors in here. So I feel like you can kind of get a little something different with this palette. So it's not quite the coppery sort of palette. It's more of the earthy shades, the like forest sort of colors, but really pigmented, nice formula on this palette. It was affordable. The packaging is, I mean, you know, it's fine. It's more functional. It doesn't like, you know, get me so excited because it doesn't look fallish, but I mean, it's totally functional and I really like the color story in there and the formula seems really nice. Okay. Milani. I love these Gilded Mini palettes. They have a great formula on them and there are some really good options. So let's go with the more, like if you want more of a burgundy, purpley, that kind of makeup look, these are both good options. So this one is the, what's this called? The Wind Down. This one's more on the purpley, taupey side. So more on the like taupey, cool toned purple side. So maybe like a wine sort of a, a makeup look, but beautiful, really nicely pigmented, good formula. I love this color right here. It's so light catching and bright and beautiful. So yeah, if you want more of the like taupey purple, that palette is great. But then if you want more of the rosy burgundy, I would say this is, it's all rosé. It's all rosé. You can see that this has a little bit more warmth to it. It's more on the, like the reddish burgundy sort of side of things. Beautiful. I just realized I didn't bring in, I have no idea what made me think of this. I didn't bring in any of my Urban Decay palettes, but I love the um, heat palette. I mean, I would definitely say that's a pick. I love those palettes. So just totally forgot to bring those in here. Okay, then these are more on the warm side. If you want a palette that pairs perfectly with other things, or if you just love an all matte eye look, Whiskey Business. This is so good for any time of year, but gorgeous paired with other coppery, you know, golden sort of shadows. There's some beautiful shades in here. Formula is incredible. So pigmented, so blendable. So it's a perfect all matte palette for either an all matte look or for pairing with other things, it's great. And then this one is Champagne Problems. This is more of that totally coppery, golden, warm toned fall palette. So if that's what you go for, this one has it. Again, great formula, beautiful. I really like that gold because it's kind of more of like an, like a old gold, you know what I mean? It's got a little bit of like a bronzy, almost green undertone, like a dirty sort of undertone to it. Love it. So yeah, if you want more of that warm toned, then Champagne Problems is great. So I just have the mini of this. This is the Lottie London The Rusts palette, but, and I got this in an Ipsy bag, um, but the full size of it looks really beautiful. So if you like those more kind of like rusty colors, it's got some burgundies in it, beautiful. And I really like the formula of these shadows. So I wanted to mention that to you just so you can look up. 
I don't know if you can find this little mini one, but you know, maybe I like this, but if not, then I'm sure the full size is incredible too. Love these CoverGirl clean color little palettes. This one is in spiced copper. Again, it's got those just, you know, super fall coppery sort of colors in there. This is so pigmented. It's gorgeous. I really like the formula of these little quads. So good. They're relatively affordable kind of where you get them. Um, but I just love the formula. They're so good. And then I grabbed just, you know, I keep talking about kind of a more sparkly lid and I grabbed some of my very favorite sparkly shadows to reach for and they are from Moira. So I love these, the Diamond Days liquid shadows. There are so many gorgeous shades that would be incredible for a fall makeup look. I mean, they have so many different options that are just slightly different that like maybe have a duochrome shift that just shifts a slightly different color. So there's tons of options. This is just one that I love and grabbed eye contact and it is so sparkly and gorgeous. I mean, seeing it on the applicator right there, it's, it, that's what it looks like. I mean, it is just, it is gorgeous. So if you love a super sparkly eye look, this is amazing. But then I would say probably my favorite product from them is their Star Show Shadow Pot. So I grabbed two different shades. I love all the different colors that I have and I have quite a few of them. I keep collecting more. This one is, what color is this? Do, 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 do. Zero One Glossé. And this is what I have on the middle part of my lid. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. It's so good. It's just this gorgeous sparkly copper. I mean, that is what it is. It's amazing. And then this other color that I, that I grabbed, I just, I just kept grabbing stuff. I have so many options for y'all. Um, Zero Two Stay Golden. So this one is a little bit richer, deeper of a copper. And again, it's gorgeous. It is so sparkly and light catching. You can use them with a setting spray. They're very, very close. This one is slightly more orangey. This one is slightly more kind of red copper. I love them so much. Okay, cheeks. So I grabbed some different options. Oh, I forgot one more eyeshadow. Yeah, I forgot this. This is the uh, Kaja. I love these little, you know, trio daily dos. So cute. This is Spiced Ginger. Spiced Ginger. And it just has gorgeous fall colors in here. So if you just want a classic fall look, love this little trio. Okay, so blushes. Let's get to blushes. So I grabbed a lot of different things. I grabbed some kind of plummy colors. I grabbed quite a few. There's like dust flying in the air. I grabbed quite a few just neutral, kind of like warm neutral shades because I tend to grab for those quite a bit in the fall because they just pair really nicely with different fall eye looks. And usually eyes and lips are what I think about first for a makeup look for the fall. So anyway, okay, let's just jump in. This is the Almay Healthy Hue Blush, one of my favorite blushes ever for any time of year, any look, it is amazing. This is the nude shade and it just goes with everything and it has the most beautiful, blendable, gorgeous formula. I love it. L'Oreal True Match Blush in, what is this one? Blush, barely blushing, barely blushing. This is beautiful. It looks more like a bronzer. It's just kind of like a, it's that blushy bronzery sort of color that has a little bit of like a peachiness to it, but quite a bit of like a bronzy tone. So it just pairs perfectly with so many different eye looks. It's amazing. These two from Moira, I think are perfect. They're again, kind of that in the, the realm of a blushy bronzer sort of a color. So these are the Lucky Chance blushes. This one is 05 Melody. This one's more on the bronzy, um, not bronzy, like a bronzer side. So there is that one. And then this is Dearest. Dearest is more on like the rosy pinky side but it's a great neutral that just pairs really well with other things. This is a great formula. It's like a satin finish, so it's not gonna, you know, take away from whatever you've got going on with your eyes. It is wonderful. Okay, and then I grabbed quite 
quite a few and I could have grabbed more Laura Geller blushes there are so many beautiful shades that are perfect with fall makeup looks just so many options I love them so I, I grabbed honeysuckle sunswept is beautiful that's another one that's kind of more on the warm side there is honeysuckle I love it um, a couple that are kind of more on the burgundy warm wine side of things this is burnished berry oh my goodness so so pretty just the most beautiful I feel like that's pretty unique a very berry blush I think this would be really pretty on the eyes too so if you love a berry makeup look that one is gorgeous this is what I have on my cheeks today along with the Almay blush this is apricot berry look how pretty these are in the pan this is gorgeous it is that just kind of neutral glowy um how would I describe this like kind of a wine like a pinky wine sort of color but beautiful glow to it blends gorgeously I love her blushes I could have chosen many more colors you know she's got kind of ones that stay in her line and then she'll like rotate different colors or come out with new ones and I just always love them I'm always excited about them I'm always impressed Then I grabbed a couple of the covergirl cheekers blushes so affordable I love these little blushes I mean the packaging leaves a lot to be desired but they're so affordable that I think they're just amazing they swatch so bad so don't even look at the swatches just look at them in the pan and know that they pretty much look like this on your cheeks they don't swatch well but I love them on the cheeks this is rock and rose just a beautiful kind of like rusty rosy wine color it's gorgeous and then this one is true plum this one's more on the purpley plum side again gorgeous with a burgundy sort of a makeup look then last up for this video I wanted to mention a couple of multi-use products that are great for lips and cheeks so this is the Etude House Dear Darling water tint I'm not going to swatch this otherwise it will stain my hand and I have my other video to film this is a beautiful kind of purpley berry color and it's amazing on the lips so long wearing great for a base for other things for a gloss or for another lip color lipstick whatever it's so great on the lips it's beautiful on the cheeks you just don't need very much product it has a little doe foot applicator and you just tap a little bit on your cheeks and blend it I like to use a small stipple brush and it stains the cheeks and lasts so well it's great and then the milk makeup this is their lip and cheek in quickie and this is beautiful I love this so much it's this gorgeous berry and it is beautiful on the cheeks and beautiful on the lips it's so pretty like it looks glossy but it's still really nice on the cheeks I love it I love the tone of this so yeah that is another good option if you like a multi-use product all right you guys those are all my picks for eyes and cheeks so I hope that you really enjoyed this video please hit a thumbs up if you did let me know down below what some of your picks would be I would love to hear it ask me any questions that you have I'm happy to answer those please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video